ditching the trees and the rocks and how to go across uneven terrain and how to make things with uh, their imagination. Inside these little places are all their forts and their castles and it's, it's, it's a lot of fun to see what kids can create here. Oh yeah, get your hip waders back on there. Well, I suppose I met Lenny when I was just a little kid coming to Strawberry Vale Elementary School and Lenny was my grade six and seven teacher. Lenny definitely inspired me. Um, I would say as a child, Lenny introduced a little bit of magic into learning. And yeah, that's a leech. I think Ms. Ross is the best teacher. He'd always let us come out with nature and the pond. And yeah, Ms. Ross was a really nice teacher. Okay, so spread your tarp out here. Well, we had a bunch of fun projects there, and he helped me really get my good grades that I needed. That's great, Ria. I like how you take big pieces out. We learned like so much about nature and animals, and it really progressed my learning. When we got the new school, Lenny's vision, why don't we have a pond down here? We used to have an open creek running down this side. The idea was the water would come off the new building into the gutter system and come down to here. The pond is a unique feature in our district to have something like this on a school ground. Uh, and you can see how attractive it is to both kids and wildlife. It's the perfect combination uh, to have right close by. One of my favorite things to do in his class was we made little um, cards on invertebrates and we would come down here and collect the inver invertebrates so we could um, study them. It captures their imagination, their curiosity and gets them focused in the right direction. Sometimes the classroom isn't the best place for every child and so if you give them an opportunity to learn in different ways they have different places to shine. We used to call our, our program we said that we provided hands-on feet wet learning. And that was a perfect example when you see kids get down into a pond with their boots on. They change because they, their, their surroundings change and they focus, is all focus created by them. So I see the sections yeah. there. My first favorite field trip was Todd Inlet. That was really cool because we got to touch starfishes. There's this one special field trip that was my favorite is the Raptor Center. He was one of the best teachers I've ever had and I liked all of the field trips he brings us on. Guys, do you think you could kind of trim that back a little bit so we can see the sign there? Thank you. It says Strawberry Knoll Park. So that's a neat little park that's right down at the end of the street behind us here that the kids at Strawberry Vale years ago, they advocated for the creation of this with, Stra with, with Saanich Council. This is the basketball or the baseball backdrop. Oh, great. So we, we just said, and it was never used. So I said, okay, we'll just extend out from, from that area. And the, the school board has just been really supportive. This is our school's edible garden. It's filled with many fruits and vegetables. There are seven garden beds and one miniature garden bed for the preschool. There are three water resources in our garden, the hand pump, the hose, and the sprinkler. Right next to our garden, we have a big chalk wall for kids to write and draw. Recently, the Ministry of Education read a new curriculum, took a lot of the environmental education programs out of the system. Lenny saw that and said, wow, we could try and do something about it. Long and short of it is, a fair amount of environmental education put back into the curriculum. Probably not as much as they wanted, but a huge gain. I think that could be a major legacy. We talked about careers when we were younger, and I always knew that whatever I would do, it would include caring about the environment, um, which sustains us. Here I am at the retirement at the end of my career, and I just think about how incredibly thankful I am. It's just been an amazing, amazing career with all these wonderful opportunities to work with great people, to work in parks all over South Vancouver Island, to work with wonderful teachers in all the schools that we worked in with our watershed stewardship projects and, and the wonderful uh, children and families. Uh, it, it was such a, a privilege to be able to get to know them and to be part of their lives. When I think back of the career for me, it's just uh, with, a, with a lot of gratitude and a lot of thanks over for that wonderful opportunity. Yeah, way to go you guys, that was awesome, you're amazing. Thanks for stopping by! Yeah, you gonna do that now? Huh? One, two, three, peace. <laughs>